Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian, and today we're gonna be checking out the brand new Hello Neighbor Basement trailer. This is really exciting because first of all, we haven't seen a proper Hello Neighbor trailer in a long time. And second of all, this is essentially the final basement. The game is coming out in just like 10 days. It's amazing. It's almost here. So we're very excited for that. But what we see in this trailer is essentially the final game. And so I checked out this trailer before I watched it just once I watched it once through just to see if there was anything new in it and basically everything is new in it there is so much stuff in just this one minute of footage I'm very excited to jump into this try to dig into it a little bit more and see if we can find any hints and clues as to what we might run into in the final version of hello neighbor so let's go ahead and jump into the trailer and see what we can find all right, so the trailer starts out here in what we assume is the basement. Our character runs into this cabinet, this ottoman or whatever it is, and you see the neighbor run by, and then you see him run back the other way. I think that something cool about this updated uh, basement is that in the past versions of the basement, we haven't really interacted with the neighbor, have we? I mean, we've seen him and we've had some puzzles with him in the basement, but it seems like in this version of the basement, we actually have to run away from him. We have to hide from him. We have to get around him just like we do in the upstairs area in the actual house. So I think that's really, really cool that they're kind of bringing that back. Now, this is the final scene in the trailer and boy there's a lot of stuff to see here so we're running down this crazy hallway there's this doorway with like a billion locks on it it's actually only three but it seems like a billion and that's the end of the trailer but let's go ahead and go back to the beginning of the trailer and this time let's try to break down each of the scenes and try to see if we can spot any new stuff all right so here we are at the very beginning of the trailer first and foremost uh, there's a panel on the left hand side and we can also see some cabling coming out of it now the interesting thing about this cabling is that it actually looks different than the cabling that we see upstairs or at least in the current version of Hello Neighbor. I don't know if they've changed the electrical cables in the way they look. The junction box looks a little bit different. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I could obviously be reading into it a little bit too much, but it does seem a little bit different. Uh, on the right hand side of the screen, we also see a switch, a lever that we can pull and it looks like there's a gate over here, a gate that we've seen before. We've seen this obstacle in the main house, so he's got more of that down here. I'm not sure if this cable leads to this junction box over here. I don't know. Let's skip ahead just a little bit. We'll go frame by frame here. Oh, one of the other things that I notice is that we see a lot of piping, and I think that that makes sense because this is obviously the basement of the house that we've been in upstairs, right? And so piping going into the basement makes total sense. I think that's kind of an interesting change that they've made here. In previous basements, it's always been like the basement was like another dimension It was like you go through that basement door and you teleport to like unknown world, right? But it seems like this basement this final basement is a little bit more like connected to the neighbor's house So I think that's a cool change now. We can see that we have this gate on the right hand side um, I'm not sure if we can actually see beyond the gate. No, it doesn't look like the flashlight is gonna go over far enough to see that uh, it looks like there's some more piping over here on the left hand side of the screen So it doesn't look like there's too much to see here. Uh, we do see bear traps So that seems to indicate that the neighbor probably has uh, pretty much the same tool set of abilities that he has Upstairs he can probably lay bear traps. He can probably throw glue at us I would assume if he still has that ability in the final version. I don't know uh, Maybe he has some new abilities, but we do see bear traps. So obviously the neighbor is the guy behind those bear traps laying those down now we see the neighbor run past us so this is our first interaction with the neighbor down here in the basement at least in this trailer and it's exciting because before we didn't have to worry about the neighbor chasing us in the previous versions of the basement there was a couple of small interactions that we would have with the neighbor here and there like if, for instance in the latest basement we had that one room with all the cameras in it and we had to get around the neighbor in that one room Room, but otherwise we haven't really had to deal with the neighbor actually in the basement So I kind of like the idea of having to get through these puzzles get through some of these platforming sections With that lingering thought that the neighbor could be right behind us 
at any moment because that fits with the overall theme of the game. That's the way that the upstairs, the main house worked. So why wouldn't the lower basement work the same way? Having the neighbor chase you around and having to avoid him while getting through his puzzles and his obstacles. I really, really like this. I, I really appreciate the changes that it seems that they're making to the basement here. Now, in this final scene, I think this is the final scene that we have here in like the proper basement and we can see our character he's kind of sneaking around the barrels here uh, the neighbor is just on the other side so we can still use our stealth to get around the neighbor I'm not sure if he's using the ability that we get from the grocery store it doesn't seem like it because when you go into that crouch mode where you can't be seen uh, the the screen gets all staticky, it gets kind of weird, and I don't see that effect here, so I don't know if that ability is going to be in the final game. Oh, there is another room, it looks like. So this room seems to be a bathroom? I can very, very faintly make it out. It looks like there is a sink over here, and it looks like this is a bathtub. I can kind of see the shower head. It's very, very dark, but this seems to indicate that there's going to be a lot of different rooms in the basement. I don't know if it's going to be more maze-like. I really like that idea because if you guys remember in Alpha 2, uh, we did have that maze-like basement that you had to cheat to, right? And it was all these winding hallways and it was very kind of surreal, right? It, it just didn't make sense, but it was cool having to make your way through that even though the neighbor wasn't actually chasing us. In that section, uh, it seems like the idea was there for the neighbor to be chasing you. So I like that they kind of brought it back to that. Now, we have this final scene here, and this one is unique because we're in this kind of weird area. You can see there's dirt on the floor, and then there's wood paneling on the side. The first time I saw this, I thought maybe that wood paneling was a fence, but then I noticed that there's actually dirt on the ceiling. So this actually seems to be a tunnel that is being held up by the wood in this room, which is insane. So has the neighbor been digging a giant tunnel underneath his house? That seems crazy. We have not seen anything like this before in Hello Neighbor. So this is really, really strange and exciting, but obviously we get chased to the end of the hallway here and we have this very impending door with three separate locks on it. Now we haven't seen anything like this in the proper Hello Neighbor game. Up to this point, we have seen some doors in, I think, like modded versions where there's like multiple locks on the doors, but we haven't seen it in the proper final version of Hello Neighbor. I wonder, can we kind of see beyond this door? I don't think we can. I think that that's probably a wall or dirt, that darkness that's around the door, but it would be interesting if we could actually see beyond that. So it seems like this is going to be one of the main doors that we have to get past in the basement. So we're probably going to have to collect a red, yellow, and green key in the basement. So maybe that first section that we saw earlier in the trailer, that's the section where we're actually searching for those keys. And then we have to make our way to this section, open up that door, and make our way through the door. What's on the other side of the door? We have no idea whatsoever. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer, see if we can get any more hints. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to see in these like cracks on the side of the door. Again, I think it's just a wall, which makes sense because otherwise this door would literally be suspended in nothing. It does look like there's some wood slats going across the door here. I'm not sure if those are a part of the door or if those are sections of the door that we have to take off using like the crowbar or possibly a hammer. It's hard to say for sure, but it does seem like this door holds some kind of crazy neighbor secret on the other side. And then of course we turn around and the neighbor catches us and that is the end of the trailer. Hello neighbor available December 8th. It is so stinking close. So I think we did a pretty decent job of kind of breaking down the trailer there. Uh, let me know if there's anything that you think I missed here in the trailer. I'd love to hear more theories and ideas of what we can expect in the final version of Hello Neighbor. It is right around the corner. I am very excited to check it out. It makes me wonder what other things have they changed. I mean, obviously they changed the 
the basement, we have not seen the final house. And they haven't said for sure exactly what the final house is going to be. The beta is a rough design of the final house, but I'm really hoping that they've made some significant changes to both the house, the basement, and whatever other levels we might be exploring in Hello Neighbor. I am very, very excited. So guys, let me know if you have any other ideas for things that we can look forward to in the final version of Hello Neighbor, but that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.